I noticed you recently refreshed your your platform. Mm -hmm. um, why did you do it, number one? And what are the differences now? Can, can you tell me the future direction? Like, where are you guys taking DigiWax? Because in, in first and foremost, it looks beautiful. It looks so modern, so sleek. So congratulations on the refresh. It all, it, and I call, I'm calling it a refresh, but it just looks brand new. Um, but it's clear that you guys are going, you're, you're forward thinking. Uh, yes. What's the plan moving on for Digimon? I'm for things, man. So, I mean, I, I'm just going to drop some big gems because I, I mean, why not, man? We, we're out here in this era. We might as well just talk about it. Um, our plan is to become a streaming platform as well for DJs as well as uh, the public. You know, it, it's, it's becoming that time to where we don't, you know, we even though we are service for DJs, we, we still want everyday people to be able to have access to one thing about us is that we always getting we always got music first from from artists you know before they drop in or before they actually go live so why not do that and um we're working on a blockchain project to actually do that um called the spin world blockchain project and it's like a it's a it's a dj plot project that um will allow djs to sort of connect their hard drives and make music available for the world um, you know, through um, through their libraries. You know, the thing is that DJs have the most extensive music libraries I've ever seen. I mean, I'm talking about beyond iTunes, beyond all of these streaming platforms. Uh, you know, when you when you do that, so that's that's one of the one of the projects that we are currently uh, focused on. But um, the more immediate stuff is we we'll launched two things. Um, one of them you'll probably start seeing by this week, next week, which is our Spin World podcast. And the Spin World podcast is really just, uh, I'm sorry, the Spinovator podcast. So the Spinovator podcast is just a DJ podcast where we're interviewing uh, DJs one-on-one -on -one and going live with them and really just allowing them to give their origin story, man. Um, when Love Bug had passed away, you know, one thing I had did with him was we had sat down and we did a little interview. And um, my friend who did the interview lost the footage, classic story, and he passed away. And my thing is that I never want that to happen again. Uh, one, I feel like it's our job to sort of preserve our culture and to tell our stories. You know, what is Red Alert's true story? You know, what is even Funk Flex? Um, what is D-Nice um, as a DJ or as a music and a contribution to our music culture? You know. Um, I want to talk about that and something that I have a passion about. So um, we're going to do that and we're just going to do it from a, a straight, honest place uh, and just talk about and give these DJs a platform to just talk about who they are, where they're from and how they became successful. So that's one immediate project. The second one is um, our new music uh, Thursday. So every Thursday we'll be going live and it's more of a forum for artists to come in and just, play their music and talk about um, what they're doing, but also allow this audience of DJs and people like ourselves to give straight, raw, honest feedback, advice on how to become better, how to reach more people, uh, what people, what resources you may need, who do you need to connect with to help you uh, become better. So we're doing that as well. So those are our two like immediate things because obviously with the change and things and doesn't mean that you, you can't level up. You know, you just got to know how to connect, who to connect with, how to connect with them, and get it in, man, because we're going to give away a lot of free advice um, on our New Music Thursdays uh, call. And you're more than invited. Everybody's invited to get into that. Um, For anybody who's looking to be invited, what should they do? Should they log on to digiwax.com and leave their information? Anybody who's watching this um, video yeah. now, Follow Digiwax, you know, at Digiwax uh, on Twitter, on uh, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, you know, we'll be posting information there. And we'll also have it on Digiwax.com on the homepage, so that'd be real easy. You'll just click and, and join. I think we're using Zoom as well, um, unless we find something else. But um, it will be very accessible, man, you know. And uh, we'll actually be – if you're on our email list, you'll get it in our, our blast and on our um, – on our other blast, the uh, 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 text blast. So, you know, we'll make sure that it's available. But follow Digiwax. It will be there. 
more than welcome to, to join on. We want you to join in. We want you to give your opinion. And we want to help artists, man. We want to give them honest, creative um, criticism and, you know, help them save money, save time, you know, get to it and, and not lead them up a pipe dream that's going to be full of explosives at the end and they're going to be out here messed up. So I want to talk before we conclude this interview, um, something that for anybody who's aspiring to, to create a business or um, has a business and is looking to, to innovate and to change and to bring their um, business in, into the modern times, Obviously, I have some behind the scenes info, but I want you to just speak on, you had a lot of challenges. We spoke about the, re, the, the refreshing of the DigiWax brand and the site. Um, can you just speak from just purely an entrepreneur standpoint, um, the challenges that you had to really get this website to where it is now, how long it took, oh my Lord, money that thing. was wasted. Uh, you know, I, I think it's an important trend for people to understand that this thing doesn't come easy, but if you stand true to your mission and, and you believe in your, 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 your dream, you can overcome any hurdle. Oh man. And, uh, absolutely, man. We, um, it was such a big learning curve and, um, challenge for us because, you know, honestly, we're not really technology people in terms of building tech. So, you know, we had to, um, we went through a lot of de development teams that we actually had another DigiWax built that we had to just scrap. What do you mean? So we, um, so it's so crazy because we've been trying to revamp our site for so long. And we had worked with a team um, that went ahead and, and started to build it. And they rebuilt this thing. And um, when it was like nearing the end of it, we were like, this ain't it. This ain't, we were wasted all this time and this is not better than what we already got. This ain't it. And I had to make a decision, you know, after all this money spent, to scrap it and start all over again. Are and you serious? How, I, long, how long were you into this process, would you say? This was about, this was from years, like maybe six years. To, you were six years into developing the new website? Talk because we had wasted a good four years with another team and it just did not... It How much was, money, if you don't mind me asking, can you give me a round well, of well over, you know, because back then it was just stupid. We spent, I would say, well over hundred grand on you, that. So you're six figures lost. Six in figures sight lost. That the world will never see. Never see. It's still it's somewhere. I need to go find that link. I need to share that for, for just to fuck with everybody because that was that was crazy. Um, but you know what? It, it was it was crazy and it was stupid because we just did not know. Um, what we what we know now and i'll tell you now man is that there are awesome resources out here that y'all can use to get things done faster and quicker and it was actually a couple of good people that we got in on our team that reshaped our thinking on doing stuff because we have been so used to just saying oh we're gonna hire this team and they're just gonna do it no you got platforms out here now like um um you know uh fiverr which is like awesome uh upwork awesome you know where you can just hire people to do what you need them to do and it gets done there's no more wasting time um you know crowdsourcing is now just as important as what we're doing now it's a it's a it's finding what you need graphic designers uh, um editors um people that build and write code people that that can take anything and build it for you just like that and uh, yeah, give me your top lessons that you learned through this process, because I didn't realize that you lost that much money. And I definitely didn't realize you lost that much time. A lot yeah. of people would have packed it in. A lot of people would have said, you know, F it. Like, you know, it's just not meant to be. Maybe this business model is still, it's not relevant 20 years later. What are some of the lessons that you learned through this process? Um, Okay, lesson number one is, you know, your team means everything. You have to surround yourself with the people. And I know they say, you know, the Henry Ford uh, theory, you know, but yo, you got to surround yourself with people that know more than you. That is one of the key things. Like, you know, I turn to people that I can learn from, you know, um, when it comes to my executive team and, um, and finding those people that can, give me these jewels that I'm giving to y'all now because that's what it was. I had to find people that can 
re-educate my whole way of thinking that that fought with me enough to make me um rethink it because i was stubborn you know and like i said i, I had to learn some lessons before and, and fight with some people before they, they actually got me to think differently so um your team your teammates who you work with is key um also your money man your money supply is important to know like don't waste money, man. If you really can find a way not to waste your money, anything can happen. It could be going, you know, here today, going tomorrow. Um, plan accordingly, man, because your money, your budget could run out. We ran out of money before. And it was just straw hustle and belief that we just kept it going, kept it going. And thank you to everybody who supported us over the years because you're the reason why we're here now. We're still relevant even more relevant than before is because yo y'all stuck with us you know and i and um you know i gotta take my my own hustle you know i didn't give up on myself you know I that's the, the I thing I, I was like yo i gotta i gotta find ways to reinvent myself and become a digital agency and still you know get out here and connect with all the new djs and and new people that are out here making moves and become their friends and and understand that hey if i'm gonna be the leader, then I'm going to have to sacrifice and be the leader. Uh, it's not just about being too cool to work. Uh, uh I never got on that. I was always on the hustle and leveling up and reinventing myself and making myself relevant and finding what I, what can I bring to the table for these people that, to, that will uh, help them. You know, I got access to this artist. Let's do an interview. Or I got access to this person. Let her bring them through. Or I got access to this product you know, here, you know, things like that. I never, never gave up on myself um, through this whole process and found ways to reinvent myself. Um, you know, other than that, man, you know, I think a lot of people don't know what they want to do. Um, and I think that's definitely one of the big things that you have to find yourself uh, in, in some type of direction of what you want to do uh, and really stick to it and get into it. Um, you know, I think that was like a lot of people just, they, they just sort of floating out here. Um, but, you know, you need to take this opportunity as a time to step back and sort of say, you know what, this is really what I want to do and, and go for it. Um, the tools are available for you. Uh, I'm, me and my daughter, we're now looking at Udemy every day, getting classes on there. Um, you know, she's trying to build a website and I find myself learning from her and I'm saying that anybody can get uh, Corsica, Udemy classes, even YouTube, iTunes University. Take advantage of this stuff, man. We can we can level up uh, and come out of this stuff much stronger. Like I said, I'm even I just learned how to set up an iPod, uh, um, uh, a podcast setup. You know, all because I was like, I'm determined to do it. You know, I want to go live. I want to do these things. So, my advice, to everybody, is to um, get into yourself. Find out what you want to do, how you're going to contribute to society, whether it's monetary or not, and dedicate yourself to it because it's real. It's really easy to like let yourself go. Don't do it. You know, get into yourself, um, find your passion. Mine's is in music promotion, music marketing, and go for it, man. Because we need y'all. We need help. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.